SpaceX has launched a rescue mission for two NASA astronauts stuck on the International Space Station. It's not expected to return until February, meaning the pair will have spent more than eight months in space after safety concerns on the Boeing Starliner capsule they were originally on. Another textbook launch for SpaceX and a rescue mission to the International Space Station. The knights in white armour have kept two seats free to bring home the astronauts stranded when their own Boeing capsule suffered a fault with its thrusters. No such problem for the SpaceX commander. It was a sweet ride. I'm pretty sure my youngest son would say it was Sigma. Lots of cheering here in the room. Butch and Sonny arrived at the space station in June for what was supposed to be an eight-day visit on the test flight of the Boeing Starliner. There's Butch coming in through the hat. But that's become an eight-month test of endurance as they wait for the scheduled return of the SpaceX capsule to Earth next February. I miss my two dogs. I miss my friends. But you know what? Like Butch said, there are so many people... Uh, on Earth that are sending us messages and it, it makes you feel just right at home with everybody when we're able to have those conversations with our friends and family. The Starliner was returned to Earth empty earlier this month. Its development has been a nightmare for Boeing. There have been helium leaks, a safety issue with parachutes and the discovery that tape used on wiring was flammable. But NASA needs the capsule certified as safe to fly as a backup to SpaceX. Whenever you've got a complex system, and that means a, you know, a rocket, a spacecraft, but also a business, a political environment, all of those things mean that you need resilience to, to change. And the best way to do that is to have two entirely different transport systems developed by two entirely different companies. Boeing insists Butch and Sonny could have safely returned on Starliner, but NASA wasn't taking any risks, not least because it needs public support for a new generation of moon landings in the next few years. The aerospace giant's reputation has taken another knock, and there's still no plan on when it will return to space. Thomas Moore, Sky News.